Hi everyone, welcome back and here's cake recipe number two, but I thought I'd just show you quickly cake number one. I am no decorating queen, let me tell you. I get crumbs all over. I tried to master that crumb layer. Nope. Big fat failure. Can never do it. So I just iced it and put some sprinkly red on the top for Valentine's Day. So yeah, there we go. So hang on, I'm going to put this one away. Okay, I'm back. And FYI, guys, that is just the cake carrier from the Dollar Tree um, for $1.25. It's not as sturdy as those million dollar cake carriers, but you know what? Hold it from the bottom, spend a buck twenty-five, you're good to go. Um, so yeah, so this is orange juice cake. I call this a snack and cake. I don't I don't know why I call it a snack and cake, but that's just it's a snack and cake in, in my mind. And um, what I do is I prepare it ahead. I just make it in a bunt pan and I cook it. I cut it in half and I freeze two halves. And this is my fail safe when my dad and Jane call me, we're going into Barhaven. We're going to stop in for tea. Whoop, out comes the cake out of the freezer. Um, or if I want to just bring something uh, a little snack into the office on Fridays. We're at like a quarter staff on Friday. So we have little treats. So I'll pull this out of the freezer and bring it in and then we all snack on it at tea time. So anyway, it's pretty easy. It's just um, the golden box cake mix or yellow cake mix. A thing of the Vince instant vanilla pudding for eggs. A half a cup of vegetable oil and a cup of orange juice is what goes into the cake itself and then there's a glaze that goes on top once you pull the cake out of the oven and that's a cup of sugar half a cup of butter and a, cup, a quarter cup of orange juice so all told you're talking about a cup and a quarter of orange juice and I said in my Dollarama haul video that I just pick this up and then what I don't use today, I will portion into one and a quarter cup snack bags and I throw them in the freezer. I mean, I label it a quarter, one and a quarter cups orange juice and I know it's for my orange juice cake. So hang on, I'll just get everything started here and I'll show you guys what I do. Okay guys, so I've got my four eggs um, cracked and uh, beaten up just a little bit just to break up the um, yolks. So in goes the cup of orange juice, half a cup of oil, the one package of instant vanilla pudding, and then the golden cake mix or the yellow cake mix, however it's packaged in the box and then I'm just gonna help this a bit as I said in my earlier video I'm very very messy and well there's I, I said that and I put the beaters on and immediately it was all over my shirt and all over the counter and well that's life right At the end of the day it tastes delicious so if I have to wear a bit of it to get to the end end result that's just fine Okay, hang on. I'm just going to let this drip here a bit. Okay, just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and beat this um, according to the box directions, which is two minutes on medium. Just to add some air into it, but I'm not going to show you guys that part because it's far too noisy. And I just use my hand mixer. Um, so yeah, hang on a second. Okay, here we are, ready to go in the stove. So it's going to bake now at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, so I just put the uh, cake in the oven and I went ahead and got the glaze um, all ready in the um, pan. And right around the 30 minute mark, I'll take a peek at the cake. And if I think it's going to be done, 
at 35 minutes, I'll start to warm this up. If not, if it looks like it's gonna go straight to the 40 minutes, I'll start this at 35 minutes. It only takes about five to seven minutes um, to do the glaze and once you pull the cake out of the stove you put it right on top so I just kind of gauge it based on the baking of the cake so in here is a cup of sugar um, half a cup of butter and a quarter cup of orange juice so I've just got this ready to go for when the cake is getting close to being finished so I'll show you that once the cake comes out Hi guys, I'm back. Um, the other quick thing I wanted to mention um, was I was looking at trying to do this recipe as Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree ingredients only. Obviously with the exception of the butter, I thought I was going to be able to pull it off because you know how they all have those cases where you can get the sodas and the waters and stuff. Well, there is orange juice in this one Dollar Tree that I go to. But the one item that I got stuck on was the vanilla pudding. I couldn't find it in the Dollar Tree. So, but the sugar that's in here is that um, Morena cane sugar. The oil that I used is that small bottle of oil from the Dollar Tree. Um, you can get a yellow cake mix at the Dollar Tree. Um, oh, I guess eggs. So butter and eggs would have been the only thing that you couldn't do at the at the Dollar Tree. So. I was trying really hard to make it a Dollar Tree specific, but at the end of the day, I couldn't do it. But for a little bit more money to get your butter and your eggs, and truthfully, um, the instant pudding mix probably at the end of the day is cheaper to get it for you American gals at the Walmart uh, Super Center. And for us Canadian gals, you saw I used the, um, the Loblaws No Name instant vanilla pudding well they go on sale for 99 cents so it's cheaper than getting it for a dollar 25 at the DT so that was just a little point of interest okay guys we're back we've got about two minutes left on the cake so I've started to um, do the glaze so what you're going to do is you're just going to um, warm it up in the pan what you're trying to do is melt the butter right and make it a, a seamless glaze so that it's not you know grainy with the sugar so what you have to do is uh, bring it to the boil stirring constantly so that's what I'm doing here and then once the cake comes out you pour it all over the cake and you let it set for 15 to 20 minutes before you invert it onto um, the plate so I'll be back with you in a second Whoa, I just about knocked you right into the glaze. Could you imagine? That would have been a disaster. Okay, here we are, boiled. So we're gonna move over to the cake. I'm gonna walk you. Yeesh. Okay, hopefully this won't be too, yikes, that was hot. Oh man, this is a disaster. Hang on, I'm trying to do too much here to show you guys. Okay, hopefully it's not too bright with the window. Okay, so here we go, and you see it's it's gotten all foamy. I suppose at the end of the day you could poke holes in the cake. I never do. I just do this, but I have to be sorry, very careful about not getting it down the center hole there. And what it does is it stink it sinks to the bottom and coats the top essentially right because you're going to invert the cake Woo. all right so I'll be back with you guys in about 15 or 20 minutes when I get to invert this cake for you. Okay, everyone, we are in the orange juice cake home stretch. Sorry this has taken so long, um, but it, it takes longer when you're videotaping it. So, it's the cake is still warm. Um, you can see there's still a bit of the molten lava sugar sauce right in there. Um, and I still want the cake to cool. 
uh, before I package it up. So all I've done is just ripped off a sheet of parchment and I've got my wire rack. So this may not be pretty, okay guys, because I'm trying to invert it with a camera in front of me. So I just flip it and with any luck, this is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> Could you imagine if the top stays in there? I'll be devastated. Okay, so, come out cake. This is the problem because of the um, sugared glaze. Ugh. Okay, we missed some right there. But, that's okay. <laughs> Gosh, maybe it's not okay, but let's pretend it's beautiful and this turned out wonderfully. I guess at the end of the day, I didn't have enough um, spray or, <sighs> can I make it beautiful? You never know. I might be able to save the day here. Eh. It's, it, it's just full of, well, sugary goodness. So there's a sort of kind of beautiful orange juice cake. So I'll let this continue to cool and then I'll cut it in half and I'll package it up. I just use um, Saran and then I put it in foil and then I put it in a Ziploc bag because I don't want it to get freezer burned. So yeah, everybody, that's it. Let's just pretend this is beautiful, okay? Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. Bye.